Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a 30-something year old male patient who presented to emergency department following twisting injury. There was clinical concern for fracture. Patient initially underwent radiographic examination. On the frontal, oblique and lateral images, no fracture or dislocation was seen. On the lateral image, let me zoom on the images, you can clearly see edema posterior to the ankle joint, anterior to the region of the Achilles tendon. Based on these imaging appearances, there was clinical concern for soft tissue injury. Patient was referred to ultrasound examination. As I scroll through the ultrasound images, you can see the insertion of Achilles tendon in the calcaneum. We are scanning superiorly from the insertion point. As I go further, you can clearly see soft tissue defect filled with fluid and echogenic material approximately 5 cm from the attachment of the Achilles tendon to the calcaneum. There seems to be a little bit of soft tissue connecting the tendon in the region of the soft tissue defect. More images showing similar findings. Let me bring the dynamic images, axial dynamic images. As I scroll through, you can see the region of soft tissue defect with fluid and echogenic material on the longitudinal images as I scan superiorly from the insertion point in the calcaneum going superiorly you can see the soft tissue defect with fluid and echogenic material likely represents combination of edema and blood products. Imaging appearances are consistent with Achilles tendon rupture. This is a nice pictorial article published in AJR which goes through the anatomy and various abnormalities which can be seen in the Kager's fat pad. Briefly, Kager's fat pad is also known as pre achilles fat pad. It's a lipomata structure situated posterior to the ankle joint and anterior to the Achilles tendon. Kager's fat pad appearances can be altered by various pathologies, namely edema, hemorrhage, infection, inflammation, thickened tendons, adjacent neoplasm or accessory soleus muscle. However, in the setting of trauma, it is important to exclude underlying bone or soft tissue injury. In terms of Achilles tendon tear, it is one of the common tendons injured in the region of ankle. It classically happens in the watershed hypervascularity region, the critical zone, which is approximately two to six centimeters from the insertion site from calcaneum. Anyone who is interested in learning more about the ultrasound technique should definitely read this article published in AJR. Briefly, ultrasound has various advantages including less expensive compared to MRI. Ultrasound equipment is widely available in most emergency radiology departments. Also, the advantage of ultrasound is it is dynamic. The symptoms can be correlated in real-time imaging. Also, we can compare to the contralateral side. Once the diagnosis is made, ultrasound can also be used in terms of image-guided intervention. As I said, ultrasound is widely available and it also has very high accuracy. The sensitivity and specificity is close to 100%. In terms of ultrasound findings, partial tear will show thickened tendon with altered echogenicity and complete tear will show separation of the torn ends of the tendon with fluid and hemorrhage in the defect. I hope you found this video to be informative. Thanks for your attention.